Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we're going to call the new boss to drop today on the 15th of October 2024. And there's only three new boss we're looking at, a Scrambler, Trailer and a Speeder. As always, time starts to be down below for any individual mod you want to look at. However, there is one update we're going to be looking at today, and that is the update to the Class Axion 960 Terra Track 20. This is by Team LTW. It is 13.62 megabits of download. Slot count is 18 slots for either version. So, first of all, you'll find this under those tractors. Go across, and this is a gem of a tractor. This is one I use a lot. So, we've got two versions a normal and a 20 years decal. And the particular update we're looking at is update 1.1, and it says Modern texture improvements to the 20 years edition, added, as well as added design configurations for the 20 year edition, along with new sound. So, yeah, in terms of the new configuration, so you've got a normal 20 year series, or you've got the 20 year series in black, and yeah, usually got your standard and wide front tires, no kids, version shines, and all that. And for the standard version, all you get is just the engine configurations, wheel setups. Pretty much standard, as you expect, standard whites. Exhaust could be silver or black. And then your yeah, beacon's got a favorite one, two, three, and back to one. Then yep, on the standard version you can change the wheels or wheels and track and that. So yeah, we're looking at the 20 year edition. And that is a astounding difference. It is like I mean, seriously, that is a brand new sound. Very realistic as well, too, how these sound like in real life. Or well, I've seen the real versions of these in real life now, and these do reflect how they sound in real life. Hey, yeah, got beacons, lights, left indicator, right indicator. And there we go. So, yeah, just a quick update. But, yeah. Definitely a tractor. If you have not used this before, I do recommend. Yeah, it is a bit expensive at 355 and 393 grand respectively, but to be able to do upwards of 445 horsepower for 400 grand at 40 kilometers per hour or in freedom units or English, uh, 26 miles an hour. But yeah, so a little quick update to the class Axion 930 960 Terra Track by Team LTW. Now on to our new mods. And starting off, we're looking at the Husqvarna FE501. This is my Sushi's modding. 10.38 megabytes of download. Slot count is. I'm pretty sure it is 5. No, 7. Goose Adam 2 was. So yeah, just got rid of 1 that. So. Yeah, I don't know why it says 5 in my notes. But anyway, so. This is essentially a scrambler. So yeah, first of all, you find this under vehicles, under cars, go towards the end. And there we go. 10.5 grand to purchase up front. Top speed of 99 horse miles per hour. And weighs 185 kilograms. Has 5 litres of fuel. Power is 51 horsepower. And in terms of configuration, you've got your original lights, enduro mode. Then you got the enduro mode with your colours, not, not your colours, your numbers. And that goes up from 1 to 9. And then back to that. Side stickers, yes or no. Main cutter, so this will change the chassis. So the chassis, the swing arm, the side stand, and the tip of your exhaust, or side of your exhaust. Then for your second cutter, which is your design cutter, that will change your panels, along with your mud guards and that, and your handle grips. And then for the seat, it's obviously going to be the seat, like so. Front suspension, let's go with white so it changes to forks. And then lastly, you got your rim colour, so let's go with a nice hot pink. There we go. Without well, further ado, let's hop into here, so turn the engine on. In terms with controls, I've got a wheelie control, I'm assuming, and a seat position, so R1, right stick, up and down, does that. So it just is the seat out. See, I got the one that's got the lights. You got your lights. Did have indicators, obviously, because it's a scrambler. It's designed for off road. And yeah, so 130 kilometers per hour or 80 miles an hour top speed. Ooh, look 
cut how the handles over the bumps. And press R1, or sorry, L1, and press it up. Let's see how it handles these jumps. Actually, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, let's go into drone mode. How far was that? It is 25, 50, 75, 100 meters. That just jumped, so not too shabby. But yeah, it doesn't say where it's got a wheelie mode in that. But yeah, I think it has a wheelie mode. There we go. You can see the front wheels up in the air. There we go. Can we hold it up? There we go. So yeah, that's right, pressing L1 and then right stick up and down. So yeah, I'm pressing R sorry, L1, right stick down. So I think that means it's not in as easy to get we need. So yeah, if I go over here. Oh no, still ha still easy to weed eat, so let's press L1 and then right stick up. Yeah, it sort of changes, sort of see the jolt in the character and that, but besides from that, so let's go once again. Yeah, still easy to weed in that. Maybe not as easy to weed in that, so I think, yeah, L1, right stick down, does your, your weeding mode, then right stick up, puts it into less prone to weeding mode. Oh, well, yeah, handles that. And here we are in first person. There we go. Yeah, I do like these scramblers and that. But yeah, it says, did it say 99 watts an hour? Yeah, it says 99 watts an hour there, but when you actually go to the actual configuration, it goes down to 80. But yeah, it says on the mod hub that 130 kilometers per hour, so. Yeah, it was like, because, yeah, miles per hour to kilometers is about 1.6, so 80 times 1.6, yeah, it's about 130, so heck knows what it said, well, yeah, 100 miles an hour in the shop icon menu and that. Anyways, handles well. Can't really fault him for 10 and a half grand. Got a nice little, well, I'll say a nice little tractor, no, a nice little scrambler. Yeah, performs well in the day for 10 and a half grand. You cannot beat it. But anyways, that is the Husqvarna FE501 by Sushis Modding. Next. Now for the Gentle BR104-30 to spy Universal CPU Modding. 15.58 megabits of download, 8 slots on console. And yeah, this is a agriculture trailer with 4 axles that is very popular in the region of Brazil and in South America. And with this, there ain't too many options or configurations. There is configurations for the capacity from 45 to 71,000 liters. So from that, so much else. And yeah, it, since it is a real life branded uh, trader, it has the real life prices because the base price for this, as you can see, is 150 grand. So that is 45 grand, sorry, 45,000 liters, 150 grand, weighs 16.8 tons. And as you can see at the bottom, eight slots goes down to one. And it can hold pretty much everything as you can see here, fertilizer, all the premium crop products and all of that other good stuff. But yeah, in terms of configurations, there's only three configurations, so got your standard, green body, and size body. And with this I have noticed with the size body, you can fill this up with normal crops and that, so I think I yeah, I haven't filled that one up. But yeah, if we go into our case magnum here because usually we get a trailer that says a size body half of the time it means it can accept like silage chaff and all that so something like this you'll use for like for example forage harvesting and that that will be a very good usage of this ignore the bailey there but anyways there we go and you can see we can fill this up with any crop type in that it seeds, fertilizer, grapes, and all that, so it doesn't what matter whatsoever. And yeah, it does have a real life weight because we have a look. I've got that one over here, 51 tons, that is with all the stones in. But yeah, we're max capacity, 
does not matter by it seems, or... Actually no, because this is 61,000 years of green, compared to 40,000 years of stones and that. I mean, in terms of your options and that, so there's really a green door, and then yeah, R1, and right stick up and down. Just adjusts the height of it, so you can raise and lower it. And that's not a tractor thing that is with the actual tray itself, because you see the hydraulics is bending on the actual trailer rather than the pivot on the tractor. So yeah, something like that, especially when you load up, I'll say have it lowered. Don't have it raised, because you can see that will adjust the how the tractor sits. So yeah, just keep it nice and leveled, close to the ground. And yeah, it does have the real life handling of a massive trailer, so it could be a stupid, fast, you know, unreal capacity trailer. And if you unload via the green door, it will tip up, as you see. Yeah, empty and fill up rate seem to be normal. Then yeah, let's wait for that to come back down. Then I'll show the green door. And that is the green door. And again, it will tip up. And there you go. Not much else to see, not much else to brag about. It's a good quality trader. Four axle trader. Again, it's a realistic brand. It's a realistic trader. Sort of trader for, you know, fast capacities and that, or unreal capacities and all that. But, anyways, that is the Gentle BR 104 30 by Universal CMU Modding. Next. And on to our final model of the day. Yeah, only three mods we're looking at today. This is the Unia E511. This is by Nico321. 6.98 megabits of download. Slot count is 5, goes down to 1. And what is our. It says on the mod hub, a mold church, but in the game it says spaders and that. So. Anyway, so have a little look. Hey, it's a spader brand or spader mod and that, so I'm not complaining because. We really have not had many speeder mods in FS22, to be honest, in what, three and a half years or so? Not many speeders, like maybe two mod speeders we've had. But anyway, so starting price is three and a half grand. Requirements is 65 horsepower, weighs 627 kilograms, three meter work width at six miles an hour. And we compare it to the base game equivalent, which is the Farmax DRP 300 Perfect. It has a lot going for it, less weighty, less horsepower requirement, better working speeds, had way better price. But anyway, so we have a little look. You've got your logos, one, two, 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 and no decals. And for design, got with or without the roller. That has nothing to do with, as far as I can tell, with having a rolling effect visually on the field. Then the PTO, the power takeoff, is the old style, or the water shred, so basically the real life modern version of it. And decal cutter, so if we have a look at the rear. We've got no decals at the moment. Let's say we want a blue decal. It's not for every decal, so you've got roller or logo 2. Logo 2 is only for logo 1, weirdly, so for the Argonaut Unia Gridzit or Zayat. <laughs> yeah. Nothing there, it's just only we already the first logo net. Not sure if that's intended or not. But anyways, going from there, main colour. And yeah, go over the rest of the colours. You have the various reds, a burgundy red, different kind of blues, blacks, greys, even some like orangey yellows and that. Brown. So you can have this quite modern or quite old school, depending on how you want to use it. Now for your cover cutter, so that is the actual main cover there. And then the roller frames go with a nice green, so that will change the frame of the roller. And then the roller itself we can change, like so. And then lastly, we got room cutter, so this could be very customised, so there we go. Hey anyway, so yeah, I've got two here, one with and one without the roller. But yeah, as far as I can tell, 
There is no difference. Well, I've done a little test strip over here. So yeah, let's go and get this hooked up. So, like so. So I think I got the, the different PTUs as well. Yeah, I have. I just got some things up properly for once. So, only lower and then turn on the tool. And there we go, in the field. Yep, at the end of the day, does what its job. It says it's a speed on that. But yeah, if we have a look here, we can actually tell. So, if it says it is plowed or that, so cultivated. By the looks of it. And if we say, let's get a normal base game speed on that. And we'll reset the tractor. Does it say the same thing? Because yeah, it says motor now on the mod hub and that. But in game it's saying a speeder because a speeder is basically another way to plow and that. It says yeah, lower and then turn on said speeder and that. What double check again? It said lower and turn on speeder. Yeah, that is the speeder at work, Nat. And yep, exactly the same thing. Look at the textures of that. I would have to say they do look pretty much the same, Nat. And that's the one with the roller as well, so... But yeah, once again, just want to quickly double check in case I missed it. Yeah, it says they were at turn on tool, but does it say anything about speeder, Nat? Now, just quickly, before, again, just want to double check in there, make sure I'm not missing anything. Make sure my T's are crossed and I's are dotted, as the old scene goes. And yeah, so there we go. Hooked up. Yep, same options as always. We'll drop you down. And off the way we go. And I've got to say, it is a speeder, does the job, it says some motion not on the mod hub and that, but in game it's under speeders. So yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. But yeah, as in the mod itself, it actually is quite nice. But yeah, can I get the rolling aspect of it? No, because it's just because of how this field is set up, I haven't done any drilling in that. But yeah, it's like in the day it's a motor or a spader, and yeah, if you plant a crop and that, it's going to just rip out the crop straight away. Anyway, it's good quality mods. May not be everyone's cup of tea, but I respect the mod as it is, and yeah, hey, is another spader in FS22. For that, I am not complaining. But anyways, and yeah, very short video here. And yeah, we only had three mods today and a couple of updates. Other updates, we got updates to the BR163 MS Brazil by Zero Oito. Please get everything right back on console, please, because I want to finish out the next playoff, but yeah. For that map, update 2.0, massive revamp, so it says, complete resign off the map with new look, adjustments to productions, adjustments to several fields, adjustments to personal lands, added sugar cane contracts. All farmhouses and horses in the city can be removed individually by cutting a plate with the chainsaw behind each one. So yeah, very similar to what we've got here on No Man's Land, where you got the options, uh, where is it to, just over there I think, where you can remove the trees and all the stones. As you can see, I've removed all the trees already on this test map. As yeah, it says, for multiplayer only, the owner of the first farm can sell fences and gates are already installed on the map. I am not sure if it's an additional to it or as was before, but it says he recommends starting the map with only the necessary mods without the DLCs and other mods like that you have any field types, as this could change the mining products, dirt and sand. Later you can activate the mods you want, and yeah, it says a new game save is required, which for something like that is obvious than that. On top of that, we got updates to Agricultural Land by Design Farming Official. As update 1.0.0.2, 
automatic money is withdrawal from solar panels and withdrawal of money from wind turbines. Really apart from that, we've had a couple of updates to the Lizard 4 and 6 pack by Castle 18. Yeah, bug fixes, some like tires have been added. Update to the Case IH Lexus series by Blabby. 1.3 new sounds, small bug fixes. Wheel weights has been removed, front fenders are now removable. And yep, yeah, so a very small mod drop today. At any day, every day we get a mod is a good day, and I appreciate all the mods that I put effort into the game. And even still now, like modders who still produce the mods now, as we're at the end of FS22 life cycle. But yeah, I think when FS25 comes out, there's still gonna be new mods out for FS22. And the fast case, and even in November, when we get mods for FS22 still, I am still gonna be doing the mod for you, so don't worry about that, folks. But anyways, that's what we're gonna leave it today, as always. Hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash the like button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be a guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, please consider. But, fresh as do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's me from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.